thank you for joining with me for the lesson 327. We are in the workbook for students of A Course in Miracles. I need but call and you will answer me. Go ahead and take a big deep breath. Close your eyes. Sit comfortably. As you exhale nice and slowly, feel all the tension leave your body. I need but call and you will answer me. I am not asked to take salvation on the basis of an unsupported faith. For God has promised he will hear my call and answer me himself. Let me but learn from my experience that this is true, and faith in him must surely come to me. This is the faith that will endure, excuse me, and take me farther and still farther on the road that leads to him. For thus I will be sure that he has not abandoned me and loves me still waiting but my call to give me all the help I need to come to him. Father, I thank you that your promises will never fail in my experience if I but test them out. Let me attempt, therefore, to try them and to judge them not. Your word is one with you. You give the means whereby conviction comes and surety of your abiding love is gained at last. We will now move into a five-minute meditation with music by Sava, The Journey Home. I need but call you. I need but call and you will answer me. I need but call and you will answer me. I need but call and you will answer me. Crazy 
I need but call, and you will answer me. This is commentary by Ken Wapnick, Ph.D., from the Foundation for Inner Peace. We call, and God answers us, because His answer is already present in our minds. We wandered away and chose the ego's answer instead. Calling on God now is to realize our mistake, and so we return to the decision-making part of our minds and choose correctly. God automatically answers because we have placed ourselves in the presence of His answer. This is from a reading. In the text, chapter 3. Section 631 You have no idea of the tremendous release and deep peace that comes from meeting yourself and your brothers totally without judgment. This is Ken. Try it. You can always retain judgment if you want. First, however, test these thoughts and you will see how much better you will feel without your specialness. Jesus says, you have given the ego many chances and it has failed you miserably. Please give me a try. Test out what I'm saying and see how much better you feel when you let go of judgment. This is from the Song of Prayer. Do not abandon love. Remember this, whatever you may think about yourself, whatever you may think about this world, Your Father needs you and will call to you until you come to Him in peace at last. We will at least temporarily accept God's promises without judging them. Again, we can always return to the ego if we wish, and I do. (laughs) Yet the fact we have failed so miserably on our own and have been so unhappy throughout our lives should demonstrate that our thought system does not work. I need but call you, and you will answer me. I don't know why I want to add a you there. I need but call, and you will answer me. 
I just am so grateful for this. I um, normally read in the morning, but I had a rough day, and I'm so glad I'm reading it now in the evening. Um, I may have had a better day if I'd read it in the morning. <laughs> I'm sure I would have. But um, I, uh, it was just one of those days, and, you know, I had my ordination yesterday, and it was just so beautiful, and I've, I was on fire this morning um, with spirit, just full of love and light. And, and I just, uh, I, I was in a bit of a hurry, so I didn't, I paused to talk about how I was feeling somewhat, but not enough to sit in the, the text and the workbook like I normally do. So nevertheless, my ego was blaring tonight, um, this afternoon, late this afternoon, and I, I had to apologize to my boss. I was so defensive. And don't you know who I am? Or don't you know what I've done? Don't you know? <laughs> it's <was> just, <laughs> it just insanity. And um, God, I had to eat humble pie. I don't mind at all. I, I'm grateful to be returned to truth. <laughs> But I was, I'm grateful I'm able to see it, even while I'm doing it, even if I can't stop it. But then I, you know, apologized to her. Because um, I knew, I knew where it was coming from. And I knew, it, I know that it's not who I am. And I know that it's, it's not who I want to be, you know. It was just my ego just shrieking out loud because I was tired. I had worked nine hours. I didn't even realize I worked such a long day. And um, nine hours in front of the computer trying to figure this new account out. So it was a little frustrating. I was just in a spot. I was a little bit frustrated. Um, but there's no excuse, you know. If I'm that way, I need to pause, pause. I need but call, and he will answer me. I need but call, and he will answer me. I need but call, and he will answer me. If I see a point, if I see a, and I'm using myself, you know, if I see a time when I'm so caught up in the moment, that's when I need to pause. That's when I need to pull back. When I see myself getting too busy to relax into spirit that's when I need it the most so I love you I'm going to stop talking thank you so much for joining with me I need but call and you will answer me amen I love you bye bye